J.H. Piner's study for Klipri Fiersberg, Sydney Kumalo St. Francis, Dumila Feni's Anguished Woman and Nandi Pamdambo's Minotaurus are some of the artworks and sculptures that will go under the hammer at Straws and Company's three-day live sale in Johannesburg from the 16th to the 18th of May. Organizers say a dedicated contemporary art session on Monday the 17th of May features impressive lots by acclaimed living artists such as Deborah Bell, Helen Sabidi, Michael McGarry, Ati Para Ruga, and Penny Siopis. To tell us more, we joined via Zoom by Dr. Alistair Meredith, the Senior Art Specialist, Straws and Co. Very good morning to you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, and a warm welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Well, thank you so much for having me. Good to have you back on the show, uh, Dr. Meredith. Now, give us a brief synopsis of what the upcoming Straws and Co.'s three day live sale is about and what art lovers and collectors alike can actually look forward to. Yes, um, we, we have an unbelievable cross-section of South African artworks coming up uh, for auction. Um, these are works that range over, over 100 years, some work from the late 19th century all the way through to, to very recently produced uh, contemporary work. Um, we always like to say it is the best cross-section of South African art you might see anywhere potentially in the world uh, this coming weekend. Um, it includes household names, um, like uh, Sidney Kumalo, uh, um, of course, Dumili Feni, uh, Alexis Prella, Henk Pirniev, uh, and Irma Stern. So um, uh, a wonderful selection. And you've decided to shine the spotlight on women this time around. Tell us more about this. Yes, we have. Um, you know, it just as fate would have it, we have a, a number of remarkable works either by uh, women artists or showing uh, women subjects. Uh, the works behind me, for instance, uh, are by Alexis Preller, focusing on the uh, women of the Indebele or the Mapoka as he knew them uh, in the mm -hmm. early 1950s. So it's a uh, it's a theme we've been focusing on over the last few weeks, um, and we're delighted to have uh, so many strong museum grade examples. All right, let's talk about the selection process for this auction. What's the inspiration behind choosing what goes under the hammer? Well, um, I suppose the, the short answer is that we never really know what's going to come in. You know, at the end of the day, uh, we're a, a buying and selling platform. Um, and while we always try and convince uh, collectors uh, to put high quality works into the market, we generally generally need to wait and see what people are looking to sell at the moment. Uh, and when works start coming in, uh, we then start the curating process. We try and group things together to contextualize things, uh, always in order to put some kind of education, educational or historical spin um, on the works uh, coming under the hammer. Let's discuss in granular detail um, uh, about the dedicated contemporary art session on Monday the 17th and what that will entail. Yes, well, um, maybe a, a lot of uh, viewers would have realized by now that there is an explosion uh, in the interest in contemporary art from Africa. Uh, and that, that's across the whole continent. But yes, specifically, there are major museum curators, major private collectors that have turned their attention to uh, the amazing energy going on uh, in South Africa. So um, with that in mind, we have been focusing more and more on out and out contemporary works. Uh, and we are lucky to have such a, a thriving uh, art making community in South Africa, uh, which in many ways makes our job a, a little bit easier. There are so many high quality works being produced uh, at the moment uh, that we are you know, often spoiled for choice. And what else is in store for art lovers over the next two or three days? What else is there on offer? Um, well, I suppose the, the one thing to mention is that we, we start the auction tomorrow, Sunday at 11 o'clock, uh, mm -hmm. with a dedicated fine wine auction, uh, which is very, very exciting. And then the rest of the work, the, the paintings, uh, prints and multiples, works on paper, sculpture, of course, uh, will, be, will be sold over three sessions on uh, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, the important thing, I suppose, I, 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 or the important point I would like to make is all the works are on show uh, here 
here in our Houghton sale rooms, in our viewing rooms. It's open to the public. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it is a, a fantastic cross-section of South African art, and we urge and encourage as many art lovers uh, as possible to come through and have a look. We're open today, uh, of course, uh, as well as tomorrow. Um, there are COVID uh, protocols in place, uh, but we have a large space, as you can probably hear from uh, the gentle echo around me, and we encourage as many people as possible to come and, and have a look. And how would you say the pandemic has affected the business and how are you recovering from the setback? Yes, uh, good question. Well, I mean, of course, like every uh, other business, we have been uh, impacted. Um, but we have had so many enormous positives. Um, we have taken our business more online, uh, which has been incredible because we have been able to uh, broaden our international footprint. We now have more international bidders and collectors on our platforms than ever before. Uh, every single sale we've had over the last year um, has had between 30 and 40 percent brand new buyers. Now that is incredibly exciting, uh, not only for Strauss and Company, but for the art market in South Africa uh, in general. Um, we've still been lucky enough to, to handle some landmark uh, museum-grade barnstorming works uh, uh, over this last period. Um, I suppose the only sadness is we haven't been able to welcome the hundreds, if not thousands, of people uh, that, that, that usually come and look at the work. Right. Um, hopefully that'll, that, that'll change in, in the coming months again. Yeah, we hope so too, uh, Dr. Meredith. And how do you measure the success of an auction and what works are you always guaranteed that they will be scooped up? Well, uh, I, I wish there were guarantees. There are never any guarantees, and that, that's what makes the auction world, I think, uh, so exciting. But uh, the works around me here, works by Alexis Prela, Sydney Kumalo, uh, we would expect there to be uh, a lot of interest, both locally and internationally. A work like the one on, on my right, the St. Francis of Assisi by Sydney Kumalo, is one of his most recognizable sculptures. Uh, only 10 of them were made. We know where six of them are, five of them uh, in major private and institutional collections. So a work like this um, conceived in the early 1960s by arguably our most important mid-century black sculptor uh, should, as I say, generate uh, lots of bidding and interest. All right, do share the details again of this auction. Yes, well, it starts tomorrow at uh, 11 o'clock with the wine auction um, mm -hmm. and then 2 p.m. on Monday, uh, the first session of the pictures, then 7 p.m. with the contemporary sale on Monday night. And then we have a final evening session on Tuesday evening starting uh, at 7. Um, the auctions are streamed live through our website, uh, which is www.strassart.co.za. You can register to bid online. Uh, you can bid, of course, online and you can watch the whole thing unfold uh, from your screen. All right. Great stuff. Great chatting to you, Dr. Meredith. Thank, thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. Thanks so much. Dr. Alistair Meredith, a senior art specialist, speaking to us about uh, Strauss and Company's uh, three-day live sale in Johannesburg from the 16th to the 18th of May. The sale will feature works by J.H. Uh, Pinefs, uh, Emma Stein, or Stern rather, and Nandi Pamdambo, to name a few.